Thanks for joining everyone. It's Andrew here from iDownloadBlog. We're going to take a look at what's new to CarPlay coming soon in iOS 10. So first up, a quick refresher. For those of you who do not have CarPlay and may not be familiar with the interface, this is currently what we're looking at here in iOS 9. So this is iOS 9.3.3, which did get a few enhancements to CarPlay. So inside of here, we have the maps and maps did get a pretty big overhaul in iOS 10, not just for CarPlay, but a huge update on iPhone and iPad. Unfortunately, even in iOS 10, there's still no pinch to zoom on the maps. That's still a missing feature. You have to use those zoom in and zoom out buttons. Now, currently what you're looking at, I actually have very limited Wi-Fi signal, so nothing really is loading for me. When we switch to the iOS 10 version, everything will load. But this is the interface that you see for iOS 9. So take a look at that top bar. Right now we have that minus and plus on that top left-hand corner. Inside of iOS 10, you can see all of those buttons have been moved to the bottom right. You can see actually now destinations load because my my phone actually has LTE instead of just using my Wi-Fi signal. A lot of this inside of destinations looks pretty familiar. It's been slightly tweaked because of new features coming in iOS 10, but unfortunately the big bulk of the iOS 10 mapping features are reserved for just the iPhone and the iPad. Namely really cool things like the third party integrations. However, you can now see traffic on route. So if I have a route coming up here, I can actually see the traffic on the route, which is really helpful when you're planning your trip. It'll actually alert you and tell you, hey, there's a lot of traffic. Maybe we should go this way. We'll save some time. If I go back to search and I need to stop at a gas station, I can actually tap on the BP here and it'll actually tell me that's going to add three minutes to my current route. So that's how it'll take me and it'll reroute and take me a little bit out of my way to stop at that gas station before getting back on my route to my final destination. So moving on from the Maps application, there were also a lot of changes to the music app. Apple Music launched with iOS 8.4, but unfortunately didn't show up in CarPlay until iOS 9.3. Now that was the initial implementation, but in iOS 10, they have a heavier focus on library. Now there is the For You section and everything else that you would come to expect with Apple Music. Unfortunately, I'm not an Apple Music subscriber and I've already used my three month trial, so I didn't really have a lot to show you as far as the Apple Music implementation, but you can see there is a heavy focus on library at the beginning. And then of course there's Beats One Radio and everything else that Apple Music has to offer. iOS 10 also brings support for ultra widescreen displays, as well as more interestingly, the instrument cluster. Yes, this little spot here where you can see things like your speed can now actually work with CarPlay and you can see things like directions. So this is really useful and unfortunately it won't be coming to everyone because it does require you know, manufacturer support. Here's what it looks like uh, as kind of a mock-up that Apple showed off at WWDC. Now those are what it actually looks like on your car's monitor, but if you go to settings, general then carplay on your iphone now you can see i have my sync here if i open up that you'll notice you now have a new display on top that actually shows you all the apps you have installed and just like you can for the first time in ios 10 you can remove or hide certain apps from appearing so if i don't want to actually use podcasts i want to use overcast instead i can remove that and i'll just add it to a little shelf below with support to remove first party apps and third party apps, you also can rearrange them. This is very nice because you don't actually, you're not stuck with how Apple aligned them up, but it works just like on your home screen. Touch and hold for a second and then move them around to the order you'd like. Unfortunately, you cannot remove completely everything. You're still stuck with the defaults like phone, music, and maps. Now this is not exactly a CarPlay feature, but if you were not aware in iOS 10, it'll actually now remember where you've parked your car. So anytime you get out of your car and it disconnects from your CarPlay system, it'll mark on your phone where that car was parked. You can also add a photo or edit that location if you'd like to manually adjust that or manually add more information, but we'll do all that for you. Lastly, VOIP apps like Skype if you're gonna do phone calls, those have also been upgraded in iOS 10. So now you'll actually be able to receive Skype calls the same as you would a regular phone call through your CarPlay system. Now iOS 10 does bring a lot of nice little tweaks to CarPlay, but it's still in its infancy. A lot of manufacturers are still adding support for CarPlay and almost none offer wireless CarPlay, which was introduced in updates previously. 
So what do you guys think of CarPlay and especially CarPlay in iOS 10? Is this something that you want in your next vehicle? Let us know down in the comments and please subscribe for more just like this. Until next time, this is Andrew for iDownloadBlog.